Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, most of us probably prefer not to get the rain on the weekend. However, the lawns and gardens could certainly use the rain. Here's how much fell today. You can see at TF Green Airport officially two and a quarter inches of rain. Newport about an inch, Westley almost an inch, and over an inch and a half in New Bedford. So everybody doing pretty well. You can see the highest amounts though in eastern Connecticut and areas north, of, north and west of 95 in Rhode Island. As we take a look at things right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12, you can see that a few showers are now pushing in from Connecticut. Most of these will miss us. You can see some stronger showers and storms here at the tip of Long Island. These have a slight chance of clipping us, but again, the chance of them actually passing through is fairly small. In Providence right now, we have a lot of fog and mist, and that's what happens when you have the temperature and dew point at the same value, and this is the case as we go through the overnight. Winds right now out of the south at three miles an hour. Right now, 72 Newport, 75 New Bedford, 74 in Coventry, and 73 in Westerly. It is another muggy night for sleeping on the way. Now, a few showers pushing through right now, but again, most of these will miss us. A cold front in the Great Lakes. The swings through overnight through tomorrow triggering a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. However, most of the day is dry, so nothing like we saw today. We can actually time these showers out. Kind of exciting, right? Hour by hour with the future cast, a few showers passing down to our south overnight. Then as we go into tomorrow morning, most of the morning is dry with a mix of clouds and sun. Again, some fog hanging tough, so not the best start to a beach day. Into the afternoon, keep your eye on the clock once again. Three or four o'clock would be the best chance of seeing a shower or a thunderstorm, but notice it's very spotty and isolated, and the best chance of seeing a shower or a storm would be here in northern Rhode Island and northern Bristol County, Massachusetts. And then the showers just kind of die away as we go into the evening. So overnight, another muggy night for sleeping. Temperatures in the 70s with a patchy fog. Tomorrow, a warm and humid start and humid throughout the day, 82 by noontime, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 83 degrees with a slight chance of a shower or a storm. Now, because we have winds coming in from the north tomorrow, I'm expecting similar temperatures across the south shore to uh, northern Rhode Island temperatures. Now, there could be a few isolated areas, especially along the Rhode Island-Connecticut border that reach the mid-80s, maybe 85, 86 degrees. And if you do reach that level tomorrow, it will feel quite warm and humid. 79 your high in Foster, 82 situate, 83 in Johnston, and 79 your high in Cumberland. Because those winds coming in out of the north, these places like Plymouth County and the city of Plymouth will be a little cooler in the upper 70s. Perhaps if you're out on the Cape, look for highs in the upper 70s to low 80s, quite humid as well with winds out of the north. And Middletown, a little Compton, high temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. At the beach, a morning fog giving way to Afternoon clouds and sun, temperature around 77 degrees. There will be a moderate risk of rip current, so keep that in mind if you plan on jumping in the water. And out on the water, visibility one mile or less, waves one to two feet. High tide 410 in the afternoon, low tide 905 in the morning. Here's that seven day future cast. Keep in mind we have a blood drive going on tomorrow between two and seven, rain or shine. And if it does happen to be raining at the time you're coming to our studios, that happens to be at 25 Catamore Boulevard in East Providence, you can complain to Tony. He will be here, so harass him if it's raining. On Tuesday, a slight chance of a shower high of 80. More widespread rain possible on Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday are looking beautiful. We push away the humidity. High temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s with mostly sunny skies. A chance of showers moves in next Sunday. We now send it back to NACA at the desk. Thank you, Pete. Still ahead on Eyewitness News.